day two at Madex 2019 here in South Korea. We start today's video report with Hyundai Heavy Industry. We unveiled three new ship designs. Let's go check them out. Let me introduce our uh, HCX19, which is a Hyundai Competent Experimental 2019. Uh, this is our concept model, which is targeted for 2030s to be on the surface, uh, focusing on two uh, major concepts. One of them is uh, utilization of the um, uh, amended system, such as uh, USB, amended surface vehicle, and UAV, amended area system. And, uh, even a uh, UUV, amended uh, underwater vehicle, also even for remote operated vehicle. And we are also taking care of the drones, small drones, to be uh, deployed and recovered from the ship because we are thinking in the future there will be a lots of use of um, uh, amended uh, small drones in, in, in warfare situation and environments. Um, during our design, uh, there is another concept that we were focusing on which is a mission module. So we had a mid mission bay and after mission bay. We can utilize up to six container mission module. So we can change our missions during our warfare, utilizing of the each mission module. So one, one of the, our concept was a utilization of a mended system and the other is a kind of undistinguishable class of the ship. So in the future, we are thinking that one class of the ship will not be only a uh, combatant or uh, auxiliary. It can be either auxiliary or such as a mine countermeasure or a mine layer, or it can be a surface combatant with a major uh, warfare domain such as a AAW, ASW, and so on. The customer, they will have a budget limitations. So they do not want to buy five frigate, for example, five frigate and another five mine layer and another five auxiliaries. But with this vessel concept, they can just buy, for example, let's say eight or 10 surface combatant, but it will act as um, all the missions. Brian, you're showing a poster with an artist's impression of the future aircraft carrier of the Aroka Navy. What can you tell us about it? Okay, uh, we, have signed, we have signed a contract two weeks ago for the concept design of Alpex 2. We will wait for another uh, country for the basic design in the future, but there will be a competition between uh, Korean shipbuilders. The LPX2 project is in its very early stage of design, but the illustration uh, shown by HHI here at Madex 2019 shows the vessel fitted with a ski jump, a closing weapon system at the bow, two aircraft elevator able to accommodate one aircraft forward, but the one at the located aft can accommodate two F-35B, an integrated mast on top of the island, and of course, F-35B uh, short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft on deck. The LPX-2 project will be based on the existing Marado class LPH. I was told that it will displace around 30,000 tons. This is our next generation uh, destroyer. So it has five inch gun in here and KBRS in front, integrated mast and some other uh, major weapons and sensors and also uh, integrated sonar system. For uh, improving the su survivability uh, in the design process we were thinking about our survivability as well and also uh, for the maximizing our weapon and combat system we uh, design as many uh, weapon system and sensor system to collaborate. We suggest three uh, ship hull form, which is conventional type and high bow type and waiver piercing type. We can collaborate one of the three hull form uh, as per uh, neighbor's requirements. We optimized uh, this uh, integrated mast. Uh, we did uh, several layers with the many sensors in one uh, integrated mask. Uh, this year is the very first year we're showcasing the uh, Selena Mark II uh, defense uh, decoy launching system. Uh, this uh, system uh, is uh, being offered to uh, several uh, shipyards in Korea. 
and uh, it is uh, implementing our new generation decoys uh, in Far Edge against uh, new imaging uh, seekers and uh, as well as uh, corner reflectors and uh, anti-torpedo decoys. Our Korean Navy is using uh, our uh, old generation uh, countermeasures uh, called uh, Dage. Uh, and we are in the process of uh, upgrading uh, those uh, decoys uh, and uh, offering them uh, to use our new generation decoys. Well, actually, we have two partnerships here in Korea. One partnership with uh, a uh, local uh, ammunition manufacturer called uh, Samyang, and another partnership with uh, TS Tech, who is in the process of developing uh, an upgrade for uh, K Airbuck uh, DLS. Uh, the idea is to use the very same ammunition on uh, this uh, new generation of uh, K-Airbok uh, so that the Korean Navy uh, can benefit from uh, the communality of uh, ammunition. Hello, I'm the CEO of TS Tech. Then let me introduce our current system briefly. Actually, this is uh, our the current version of decoy system. It supports several the decoy functionality. Currently, more than 60 Korean neighbor ship use our system as a decoy system. This is a next version of our system. We reduce the weight and the size. Even though we have we enlarged our the decoy functionality. For example, we can make the larger ICS. We can support decoy functionality for uh, against amazing IR, something like this. Then we used uh, our partner company, Lacquas, the new the decoy ammunition. This is for the IR seeker, and this is for the RF seeker. So, well, in case of RF, we use servo firing to make larger ICS. Then this is our control panel. Uh, actually, we support two options. First, uh, based on embedded decoy algorithm, without any operation, they can fire the ammunition automatically. Then, the other case, operator can make their own decision without any help from the algorithm. And also, we can support the multi-language, like this. This is the English version. You can change it to Korean version. Okay, we can support other ranges if our custom one. Uh, hi, my name is Eric Yoon uh, from HANA System, director leading the uh, Asian business development team. What uh, is this model behind you? This is a Korean eye mask that we currently propose to the Korean government and ROC Navy for next generation Korean destroyer which will be a Korean Aegis class destroyer. Can you give us uh, some details about uh, the mast itself, uh, which are those antennas that we see on the model? This is an eye mast, which is fully equipped and integrated with the uh, two dual band MFR, X band and S band on the top, also UHF and VHF communication antennas, and IRST and the IFF. What is the main advantage of having such a setup for a ship? I mean, absolutely, uh, this new, newly designed IMOS can reduce RCS, but also interference in between the uh, sensors and communication antennas. And uh, Eric, what is next for regarding Hanwha for this project? Hopefully next year, we will prepare the RFP issue from the Korean government, and we will be ready for the uh, basic design contract. Yeah, I mean, top two we presented yes, I mean, last year, and the, the bottom, the yellow one, is a new design of AAUV to detect and search and analyze the uh, subsurface threat in maximum depth of 300 meter. I mean, we can operate it like more than three, uh, 30 days. To conduct its anti-submarine warfare missions, the large displacement UUV is fitted with an active sonar in the nose and flank array sonars on the sides. Hanwha told us it can dive up to 300 meters in depth. The large displacement UUV is meant to be used in conjunction with other sensors on board over other vessels such as USVs or frigates in order to conduct multi-static anti-submarine warfare. This is our multi-function console that we've been operating and deploying to the ROC Navy as well as to Philippine Navy. 
We were very proud of signing the contract with the Philippine Navy called Del Pilar class. I mean, three ships uh, given by the United Coastal Guard, Hamilton class. We signed a contract to upgrade those three uh, frigate class by ourselves, 100% indigenous combat management system of Hanwha.